Hey, what's up, Hobby Maniacs? All right, this is Mike Haspel here. Uh, I'm here to show you a really just quick hobby hack that I was talking about, how I take uh, some ghetto miniatures and make them look uh, a little bit better at a three-foot paint job. And what we're looking at here is we're just going to use these, uh, basically these uh, fine point, ultra fine point Sharpies. You can pick them up really cheap at like Office Depot or Staples or whatever. And what we're going to do is on these large pieces of... Uh, of cloth that are on, you know, this is a speed painted penitent engine that I did last night. What we're gonna do is just take uh, take these things and you can just draw directly on it. You know, we're just gonna do a little fleur de lis right here. And it doesn't need to be perfect. It just needs to kind of recall the image. And then we're going to, on the bottom one down here, I'm gonna write like kind of a a raised letter that you would see like at the beginning of a chapter of a of an important book and it doesn't even matter what letter it is and you'll see what we're gonna do uh, it we're just giving the impression I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here so you guys can see a little bit better what's going on and that top tab is covering up the bottom one but now we're gonna take our black one and what we're gonna do is just make a series of, of like tiny squiggly lines and break it up with dots and dashes so that the lines are not uniform and what that does is it gives the illusion at a distance that there is text written underneath here and we're going to do the same thing uh, along this bottom tabard so that it does overlap and since both of these also have um, purity seals on top of it that's what we're going to use that micron pen you might have seen in the wider shot for that is a two micron pen you can pick them up it's an art pen you can pick them up at Hobby Lobby or Michaels or usually any art supply store and all I'm doing is da dots and dashes down here um, with a little bit of squiggle to them so that they look like uh, almost Morse code like I'm transcribing Morse code and obviously the finer it is the the better it will look at range uh, and you can actually break it up and do paragraphs I, I would recommend at the beginning of the paragraph to just do another uh, another like one of those big letters that just highlights the start of things and then you just use this to go along the purity seals and that makes it look like there's text along the purity seals too but it's a different size text you know to represent the different size parchment and that is all there is to it and when we zoom back out you'll see how good that looks it's just look at that that's what it'll look like on the tabletop and you just made a speed painted you know very basic heavily washed miniature uh, look a lot better then you take a, you can take a wash once it dries and go over it to weather it a little bit uh, do a little bit of sponge chipping using the color of the par background parchment to make it look like it's fading and then just clear coat your miniature and there you are all right guys that's it for me right now I'll talk to you later